Bama won the toss. They deferred, so Mississippi State will receive. Watts to kick it off. And they will kick it away from Moles. And Kenny Causey's got it on the far side. Causey across the 30. Still going. Across midfield to the 48-yard line. Mississippi State, first and 10. Play action. Tate looking downfield to Moles. Ball stripped loose. Fumble. Bama comes up with it. These two teams are known for creating turnovers. You see the Alabama turnover margin is Barker. Wants to go downfield on the first play. And wisely comes to the near side. Todrick Malone makes the reception. And a gain of about eight as Charles Davidson makes the stop. On a fourth down, that's Brian Deal back at his 42. Gamina is back deep for Mississippi State to return the punt. And Gamina's going to let it go on a favorable bounce. For the Crimson Tide of Alabama, down inside the five at the four. Ten touchdowns, one INT, and Mississippi State has won their last four games. First and ten from the four-yard line. And off will go up the middle. That's Michael Davis, big, strong running back at 6'1", 222 pounds. Bowie McCrary, Jones, Eric Mould's a great one, and the 299-pound tight end, Kendall Watkins. Second down and one. Davis one more time. He's got the first down up to the 15-yard line. First and 10, 15-yard line for the Bulldogs. Davis gets it again. He's got room to the outside. He'll just run over it. Past the 25, up to the 27-yard line, and that was Tommy Johnson, the man that he ran over. Sherman Williams back to return the punt. Andy Russ at his 16-yard line. Low snap. And the fair catch called by Todrick Malone. He is hit. So Malone and a flag goes down. And that's a that's a big difference in a close ball game where teams are evenly matched. Out of the shotgun. Barker looking near side, eludes one tackler, now throws it downfield. And the catch was made by Curtis Brown. Those little things is what Jay Barker does so well to create opportunities. On first and ten, they're coming around. This is Chad Key, number 19. Key, the wide receiver, will pull it inside the 20-yard line. They've got it second and two from the 20-yard line. Williams with the football. What well, a good job right now as Williams leans ahead and is very close to the first down. Second and seven from the 14-yard line. Williams, will they do it again? No, he fakes it this time and cuts it up the middle. Nifty move by Sherman Williams as he gets it down to the seven-yard line. You can do more as a defensive team in terms of disturbing the quarterback as opposed to just getting sacked. Michael Proctor from 22 yards out, and it's good. So Proctor's now hit 17 consecutive field goals from inside the 40-yard line. Back deep to Shea Townsend, the true freshman at the 32-yard line to receive the punt of Andy Russ, the sophomore from Nashville, Tennessee. Averaging 37.9 yards per punt, and the fair catch called, nearly run into by his own man at the 35-yard line. Third down and six after Bama had to take that timeout as Malone comes in motion to the near side. Quick throw by Barker, and he finds number 19. That's Chad Key, and he should have the first down, and he does. Well, I was right? concerned about that game. I, Illinois has got a great defense. First and 10, that ball was deflected and then caught. Curtis Brown makes the catch. They've been showing more and more of this against some of their opponents and a, a good power running set for them. On second and one, little option as Barker pitches it back to Williams. Williams trying to turn the corner, and that's the thing Jackie Sherrill did not want to happen. Brian Deal to punt it, and Kamina back for Mississippi State. This time, that finds the end zone. And the Bulldogs will have it first and 10 from the 20 on the 37-yard punt. Derek Tate back in the game at quarterback for the Bulldogs. He'll hand it off to Kevin Bowie. Bowie on the outside gets about eight yards before knocked out of bounds by Deshea Townsend. That's Coleman in motion to the near side. Bowie still on his feet. Finally run out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Tommy Johnson had to carry him out. There were clearly two seconds, two and a half seconds left and on the clock. This is Scott Field, Mississippi State. Handoff up the middle. 
Running hard and still going. Kevin Bowie. That's Shaston Coleman in motion to the far side. Bowie gets it again. Trying to string it out, and they do. Great job. Now look at Bowie. Spins away. The stiff arm. Look at it. Bowie go to the 30-yard line, and he gets a first down. Third and 11. Bulldogs have really struggled. They're 5 of 38 on third down or 11 plus. As Tate gets rid of it to Moles. Look at the speed. Touchdown. Brian Deal to punt it. 41.2 average for from the Southeastern Conference. And Bernard Ewell is back to receive it. And Ewell fumbles it, picks it at the 20. And is nailed at the 24-yard line. Down there on the coverage for Alabama, Tony Johnson. They force teams to work the long field against them on a very consistent basis. That's good special teams work. First and 10, 25, Michael Davis. Look at the big man across midfield. Second and 10, 49-yard line. Tate on the play action. Molds have double coverage that time as Tate will now throw it back across the green and mistake. The ball is stripped loose, but the pick was right there by Cedric Samuel, number 13. So first and 10 for Jay Barker in Alabama. 37-yard line, Barker being chased, eludes one tackler, and throws it to Williams, who makes a spectacular catch. At the 47-yard line, Brian Deal to punt it. Back inside his own 40, Scott Gamina standing back on the 10-yard line. As Deal will angle it to the far side, and it goes into the end zone. This is such a huge offensive line that they don't really match up that well. On second and five, the big man Davis gets the call again. He'll be close to the first down as Matt Parker, defensive tackle from Lawton, Oklahoma, number 98, was there to make the tackle. So it's second and ten. And up the middle, spinning. Look at these guys. I'm going to tell you, Davis and Bowie both do a great job of meeting the contact and spinning off the contact. Third and less than a yard to go. And they'll just go right up the middle that time. And pounding ahead was Michael Davis in the second effort. Looks like he got it. Derek Tate on the play action. He's got his man, Molds. Look at him break the tackles. He makes people miss tackles. I am really impressed with this wide receiver. He's a junior. And it's first and 10, 44-yard line. And Davis just carries people inside the 40, down to the 38. Second and four. Less than four minutes to go, first half. Davis gets it one more time. I'm telling you, that tight end, Kendall Watkins, some NFL team, I don't care whether he catches the ball. He only caught five yeah. passes this year. Second and 10. 33-yard line. Mississippi State has all three timeouts remaining as they hand it off, and that's Bowie. Bowie's going. He's knocked out of bounds inside the 10 at the 9-yard line by Willie Gaston. Second and goal, still from the 9. That's the big man, Davis. Down to the 2, where Sam Shade and Willie Gaston make the tackle. Two tight end set in there for Mississippi State. Molds in motion on a third and goal from the three-yard line. Davis. McCrary got the handoff. What a fake. Well, they've been running the play to Molds with the motion, and they've been giving him the football. Alabama with two timeouts left in this first half with 1.54 on the clock. And the catch is made by Curtis Brown. Knocked out of bounds. But sometimes you gamble, and that gamble back. That's a good point, Todd. 54 yards on the pickup for Barker. Their biggest play of the day as he throws it to Tarrant Lynch in the middle as he gets down to the 22-yard line. They've had huge plays off the turnovers, and that time he gambled, and it backfired. On third and eight, Barker going downfield. has got his man inside the five, Todrick Malone. Second down and goal from the three. Barker on the rollout. Looking for Williams. Touchdown! When you're throwing to a running back, you want to just give him a nice, easy, soft pass that he can catch and run into the end zone. They put Williams in the slot to the near side. Lynch, the lone back. Barker in trouble and nailed at the 10-yard line by Brent Smith.
Well, the Bulldogs will just kneel it down here and let the clock run out in the first half from Starkville, Mississippi. And I'll tell you, these Bulldog fans are happy right now. They lead Alabama by five, 14 to nine. First and 10, 34-yard line for Alabama as they start the second half, and Parker will send it near side to Curtis Brown. And Brown will be out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Walt Harris was over there on the coverage. Brian Deal back at the 35-yard line, the fake. And he is dropped. Big play right there by the Bulldogs. Reggie Wilson was the man that read it and then made the tackle. They're going to have to throw the ball a little more in this second half to maintain their lead, and that means get the ball to number one. Tate, plenty of time, swings it out to the near side, and that's Bowie. Third and less than a yard, just underway, second half from Starkville. Right up the middle, and they've got it. Kevin Bowie, no problem. 43-yard field goal attempt as Tim Rogers comes out to attempt it. He's four of six from 40 to 49 yards. Snap was a bit high, and the kick is wide. Good pursuit by the Mississippi State defense, doing a great job against the run today. Alabama averaging just over one yard per carry as Barker throws it to Brown on the near side, and the catch just shy of the 35. Well, this is just the 12th meeting here in Starkville. Many of the games played in Jackson is on a third and one. Barker with the quarterback sneak, and Mississippi State says we stopped him. Buell is back to receive the punt from Deal, who's standing at his 22. Nice high kick there. And at the 30-yard line, Mississippi State will take it. First and 10, 7.30 to go third quarter. Andy Russ from the 20-yard line will punt it down to Deshay Townsend, who's standing back at his own 29 on a fourth and six. They were coming home, they get a piece of it. And well, it's down right it's there. It's down back there at the 43-yard line. It's down right there. It crossed the, the line of scrimmage. And the last two meetings between these teams, Bama's blocked the kick and returned it for a touchdown. And special teams such a big part as Barker trying to elude the rush. Puts it down. Penalty marker is thrown as Barker gets to the 42-yard line. We have holding against the defense. It's a 10-yard penalty. And against an eligible pass receiver, therefore, it's an automatic first down. Barker looking down the middle. Nearly picked off but caught. Terrence Lynch. Third down and six, Alabama four of 11 in third down situations. Barker wants to throw it. Double pumps, finds a man open, touchdown! Todrick Malone. They missed their earlier two-point conversion attempt. Barker throws this time, and it's no good. The pass intended for Curtis Brown, so with 147 left to go third quarter, Bama leads the Bulldogs by one. As Molds will go in motion, and they would like to try to get the football in his hands. Throw back. Yep, they throw it back here to McCrary. Cuts it to the outside, and McCrary gets it to the 49-yard line. Pickup of 14, a first down. Both tackles are 4-9. The other two guys are not quite as quick. On second and 10 from the 49, look at this cut by Bowie. Still going. All the way down to the 33-yard line, Kevin Bowie. So the penalty against Alabama, first and five from the 27-yard line. Take for look at the Bulldogs. Waited maybe just a little bit too long. Look at him late. Touchdown! Oh, goodness! What a play! Another Bulldog casualty. They're going for two, Todd. Watch the throw to the fullback. Watch the fake to Molds again. Got him open. If he can get it there, he does. The Molds. Two-point conversion. <laughs> oh, strut it. First and 10, 20-yard line. Barker will come near side. That's his tight end, Hate. Patrick Hate makes the catch and gets it up to the 27-yard line. Three Central and Pacific on ABC Sports. Here we go, fourth quarter from Starkville. Alabama trying to get something going with the running game, and Sherman Williams, who struggled all day with a nice pickup there on second down and three. Mississippi State, six penalties, 45 yards. That's about... Uh, 
35 yards below their season average as they'll run it right up the middle and finally Williams has got some room across midfield down to the 47 yard line. They've only got 10 men out on the field as Deal sends a short punt to Gamina who makes the catch at the 15 yard line. Timeout. Andy Russ inside his five yard line and Deshae Townsend back to receive the punt. Bama should get good field position. Nice punt right there by Andy Russ and Townsend back at the 39 yard line. First and 10, 40 yard line for Alabama. Barker on the play. Actions nailed at the 32. Guess who? Larry Williams. He's been a factor all day for the Bulldog defense. From Moorhead, Mississippi, by way of Delta Junior College, second down and 16. Barker picked off. Picked off by Dwayne Curry. He got it, folks. Earlier tonight, he let one slip through his hands. 22nd interception on the year for Mississippi State. So this is the fifth time Mississippi State has picked off a Jay Barker pass. First and 10. Handoff now coming around the right side. That is Michael Davis. And pounds his way down to the 20. To call it the 24-yard line. Davis, 19 carries, 109 yards. And this time Bowie will go to the outside. Bowie knocked out of bounds finally at this. Tommy Johnson had to save the touchdown right there. And it's good. He's a perfect 6 of 6 from inside 29 this year. And with 7.57 to go, the Bulldogs lead it by 10. Can Barker pull out a comeback victory? Not right now. He is nailed back at the 28-yard line. Brent Smith, 91, and Larry Williams, 78. We're both in there. Third down and 17. Bama's 5 of 13 on third downs today. 6.42 left to go. Barker's got to come up with a big play. And what a play right there by Marcel West. He's got the first down at the 46-yard line. First and 10, 46-yard line as Barker slings it near side to Curtis Brown. Brown at the, let's see, they mark it 44-yard uh, line there. This one, he kind of slings a little sidearm, a slight sidearm underneath the rush, but it was on the money. Williams, the ball carrier, he's got the first down as he gets it to the 42-yard line. All-time leading interception man for Mississippi State with 12 on a second and 10 from the 42-yard line. Barker pump fakes, now he goes to Brown's, got him! Touchdown! Beautiful play by Jay Barker on the pump fake and then hit the streaking Curtis Brown for 42 yards. Andy Russ inside his 15 will punt it down to Deshae Townsend. They've got a return on. It's a low line drive kick. If Townsend takes it to 32, he slips one tackle. He's got a seam on the outside. Can't quite get there as a penalty marker goes down. Knowing what you need. Illegal block in the back. Gets the return to him. 10 yards. First down. Barker's going to roll it to the right. On the run, he throws it to Brown. Great catch over there. Mississippi State came into this game with only 14 sacks. They've got three so far today. As the pass is completed and still running hard, Tarrant Lynch, as he's got the first down, Alabama trails by three. A tie does them just as good as a win in the conference. Play for the Barker pump fakes, fakes yeah. going to Williams. Yes, what a catch. You're seeing the top players for Alabama rise to the occasion here in the fourth quarter and make plays. First and 10, 16-yard line. Lynch gets a handoff inside, running hard inside the 10 to the 9. And Lynch running hard here late in the ballgame. Second and four, that's Riddle, the true freshman from Tuscaloosa. And he is close to the first down. Well, as you mentioned, if they kick the field goal, it still works to their advantage in the SEC and for the Sugar Bowl. Might hurt him for a national championship, though. That's Riddle. Leans in. No call. Now a touchdown. Penalty marker. No, no. Yes, there is. There is a flag down at the one-yard line. We have a face mask against the defense for touchdown. Fourth down and four. And Penn State's moved ahead of Illinois. Tate is hit. 
Tate is hit. Damian Jeffries was the man that got in there and got a piece of his arm. And Alabama with 25 seconds left and a four-point lead has made the comeback. And the comeback guy was Jay Barker. So the fourth down conversion doesn't work. That's going to be it from Starkville as the clock will just wind down. And Alabama led back by Jay Barker. They trail 25-15 with 7.57 to go after Rodgers kicked the field goal to give Mississippi State that 10-point lead. And Barker leads them back in what a great performance by the senior. Our Chevrolet most valuable players of the game. From the University of Alabama, Jay Barker, three touchdown passes today. And from Mississippi State, their outstanding wide receiver, Eric Moulds, who caught a couple of touchdown passes and caught a two-point conversion. So, for Brian Holloway, Todd Blackledge, I'm Roger Twabell. Thanks so much for being with us from Starkville. 29-25, Alabama beats Mississippi State once again. Good night, everybody.